Yo, 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 what's good with me? You already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Mr. Info. We right back on with another video, man. Hey, you know what time it is, man. We got to talk about the Ultimate Legends that they released today, man. Let us know how I feel about them. Now, you see, you see down there, man. You see down there. That's the previous video we did, man, talking about the release of the Golden Ticket, specifically the Bo Jackson video. Um, if you want to see that video, man, the link is going to be right up here, man. Go ahead, click on it so you can see that full video in its entirety, man. But this video is about the Ultimate Legends that they dropped today. So we're going to talk about what I think about them. Uh, if I really think they will work the upgrades, uh, I think we kind of know where we're going now with all the Ultimate Legends. Um, but basically, if you had a Legend card in the game, you're going to get one of the Ultimate Legends cards. So hopefully, I'm crossing my fingers that we get that Bobby Bell that I want for my Chiefs theme team. But uh, let me know if you're happy with it, man. And let me know what you're looking for as far as the Ultimate Legends. But uh, before we do all that, man, you know what you got to do, man. I should not say it no more. Hit that like, sub, notification bell, man. I ain't going to tell you no more, man. All right, let's get into this video, baby. All right, baby, here we go, man. Here we go, man, on Madden Ultimate Team's Twitter page, man. Those y'all that's new to the channel, man, this is how we do our Madden videos right now, man. Um, if you're new to the channel, man, my Elgato decided to die on me, man. So a lot of the gameplays, man, that I put up, uh, I'll throw a little one up there, man. So you go check out your boy. Your boy had the, your boy had some nice gameplays, man. But unfortunately, Elgato shot shot crap on us, man. So right now, I unfortunately can't give you no gameplays. But like I told you, I'm gonna keep giving you as much information as it gets to me, man. So uh, appreciate everybody that still loving me and supporting on me, man. Uh, we've been getting subscribers steady going up, man. So everything y'all still loving the content. So I appreciate that, and I'm gonna keep bringing it to you, man. Um, but like, enough of all that, man. Let's talk about these legends. Let's get into them real quick. So uh, we're gonna go from top to bottom. You see, you see the three right there, man. Devin Hester. Jerry Rice and John Randall, man. So, uh, like I said, it's looking like it's not going to be that many surprises, which, I mean, you wouldn't expect it to be. If you had a legend card in the game already, you probably should be the one of the ones that are going to be getting the uh, ultimate legend. So, let's check it out. And let's let's check the Jerry out first, man. I knew he was coming, so let's go ahead and check him out first. All right, man, and here we go. Here the young Jerry, man. So, Jerry Rice, we know what it is, man. Widely considered by a lot of people as the Michael Jordan, the wide receivers, the best, the greatest to ever do it, man. Um, but you also get some argument. A lot of people say, okay, yeah, he he did it as far as like championships, work ethic, all that stuff. But I don't think he was the best athlete to ever play wide receiver. A lot of people get that to Randy Moss. But that's neither here nor there. I know a lot of y'all waiting for that card to come out. Um, just like the Bo Jackson. But anyway, we're talking about Jerry right now. So let's look at his stats. Um, we know this how it is, so we're gonna get into that. But here we go 94 speed, 92 jumping, 98 catch, and 95 spec, uh, uh, catch and traffic, 94 spec catch, rock run, nine, rock running 97, 96, 91. I mean, I mean, in my opinion, he's not gonna be anybody that's gonna upseat any receiver you probably already have, unless you're racking with one of the theme teams that he goes to, you know what I mean? Whether we're talking about the 49ers, Raiders. Uh, then you do a stand in with the Seahawks. All that. I mean, obviously, if you're running a theme team, and like I keep telling y'all before, man, at this point in the game, that's all you really should be looking for anyway. Like, the 98s and the 99s that come off from here on out, probably if you if you were pushing towards a theme team, you really ain't going to have much space to move guys in and out if you already got your 50 set for your theme team. You know what I'm saying? So uh, he's probably one of them guys that if, if you got a 49ers or any, any of them other theme teams, you're probably going to get them. If not, you're probably not. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, let me see. Yeah, man. So, uh, I mean, it is what it is. I, obviously, the speed is not ridiculous. But then again, you know what I'm saying? Jerry Rice really wasn't known for being a burner like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we knew his catching should have been really high. So, 98, that's about where, where I think it should be. Catching traffic is good. Spec catch is decent. Um, his jumping, to me, surprisingly, is a little lower than I thought it would be. I thought for the ultimate legend, like I said, I'm not saying he was Randy Moss. Again, he wasn't an athletic freak. But I thought he was really good at going up and getting balls at the point of high point of, uh, of attack. Uh, but I guess that's why you kind of got to balance between the jumping or the one to give him more catch and traffic. A spec catch, all that kind of goes into the same little bubble. So it is what it is. It's a, to me, in my opinion, it's a decent card. Nobody you should break the bank and go out of your way to get it if you don't have a theme team. But if you got a theme team, obviously, there's going to be a guy you're going to rock with. All 
All right, and here we go. Next up, Mr. John Randall, Johnny Randall. Now, this is one of my favorite players to watch, man, especially on the defensive side of the ball. A guy that played with passion, dude, a guy that you knew loved to play the game. It just looked like he was a kid out there, you know what I'm saying? It's very rare nowadays that guys get to that level, and even once they get to that level, they keep that fun, you know what I'm saying, spirit behind them, just like when they were, when they were kids playing wherever they from, you know what I mean? And he was definitely one of those guys that embodied that. Um, so I, I'm glad that he ended up getting the Ultimate Legend card. He was one that put in the game this year. And let's look, see what the stats look like. Um, speed, 83. Now, honestly, I think his speed should be higher than this. That was his forte, you know what I'm saying? He was, he basically was sap before sap. Now, he wasn't as big and in, as imposing of a figure as sap, but when you're talking about a super dominant athletic freak at the three technique, it was this guy, John Randall. Guys like Aaron Donald, when you think about what they doing in the league now, that's what he was doing in his time. You know what I'm saying? The three technique, undersized guy that guys thought couldn't play the position until he got down there and started destroying hog mollies all over the place you know what i'm saying that's what this guy was man um and let's look at the stats 83 likes i don't i think his speed i think his speed should at least i'm not saying it should be ridiculous like the golden ticket give him 95 or nothing but i think his it, i think it'd have been fair to at least give him somewhere around 86 87 you know what i'm saying because i mean that's what he was you know what i'm saying um i like the acceleration 92 acceleration 93 strength is good 90 tackling, 94 play rec. Okay, 94 block shed, which obviously is gonna be able to get over 95 if you got the um, if you got uh, well actually a couple of different ways. Obviously, if you have the power up, it's gonna go straight up to 95. But if you don't have, even if you don't have the power up, you should be able to put the um, if I'm not mistaken, the uh, uh run stuff in chemistry on them, which should give them an extra block shed. And as long as you have other guys on your team that has a run stuff in chemistry, that give them that plus one block shed to get them in that threshold. So. That's going to be nice. 93 power move and 98 finesse move. Oh, my God, dude. This is going to be a nice D-tackle card. This is going to be a nice D-tackle card. Now, y'all know how I feel, man, about defensive ends in a 3-4. I run a 3-4 defense. A lot of guys run 3-4 defenses. And I just, think, I just don't think the defensive ends really do nothing. You know what I'm saying? You can have the best defensive ends, and then they really don't get back there. Right now, I got Frank Clark back there, and he's making some noise, but it's mostly when I'm in the big nickel over G when technically we're in like a 4-2. A you know what I'm saying? We're in a 4-2 defense. You know what I'm saying? Four down linemen, two linebackers, one of which is actually a safety. You know what I mean? But I ain't going to get two X's and O's. If your boy played football, I do, did a little coaching, so, man, I, I don't want to go like that. But, you know what I'm saying? Y'all my artists. Y'all smart enough to know what I'm saying. I just don't think of the three techniques. I mean, in um, a 3-4 defense, defensive tackles in this game do much. But I don't know. He might be able to. I mean, with 98 finesse move, 94 block shed, which you can at least get to 95, the next threshold, the speed and acceleration, hey, he might be making some noise, man. He definitely going to be giving you what the sap does, if not a little bit more. All right, man, and here we go. Last but certainly not least, Mr. Def... What did I just say? Last but certainly not least. Last but certainly not least. Okay, kids, let's use our words, our nouns, and our vowels. All right. Um, anyway, let's get to this dog on Devin Hester, man. So, this to me, this this is this is just the gimmick card. You know what I'm saying? Just like it was when it first came out with the NFL 100. He's widely considered as the best all-time special teams return in the NFL history. Rightfully so. You know what I'm saying? I'm not taking nothing away from him, but. I don't understand why you would spend money on a card that really can only serve that purpose. You know what I'm saying? That's all he is. He's a card that you can put it at kick return and punt return. He's going to give you a human joystick. But after that, he serves no value on your team. You know what I'm saying? So unless you're a guy that, that, that expects to get one or two returns a game, and you're really that good with the sticks that you, you're just like, hey, no, nah, dog, you don't understand, bro. The, the, the NFL 100 has to have, have been balling for me. I got to get this guy. Or if you're a Bears guy, I get it. But I really don't understand the purpose of this card for anybody else's team, man. Like, it's so many other options out there that are good at returning, but also are going to give you some value in the offense as well, or in the defense as well. Guys like the Deion Sanders, obviously, you know what I mean? He's going to be a lockdown corner, but he also is going to give you that return uh, ability. Guys like Tyreek Hill, you know what I'm saying? Who obviously are going to be a crazy returner, but also can give you some ability in the receiving game. You know what I'm saying? This guy right here, I mean, 
other than speed and human joystick, I really don't feel like he holds no other value to the team. When you look at him, he got him at wide receiver. We know in the league, he came in as a cornerback, didn't really make his hay there, did really good at uh, kick returns, so good that the coaches said, you know what, let's just try to put him into the offense, get him the ball as much as possible. And they tried to turn him into a receiver. He tried it, but he really wasn't good at that either. You know what I mean? So he was what you call a special teams specialist. You know what I mean? I mean, look at the stats, and it's, it says the same thing. 98 speed, which is great. 92 jumping, 84 catching, 82 catching traffic, 87 spec catch. You know what I'm saying? 85 short, 79 medium, 88 deep. Like, he, you know what I mean? He not going to really do much for you, bro, in a passing game unless you plan on running a whole bunch of bubble screens. Or, you know what I'm saying, uh, counter reverses and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So, if you run an offense like that, then this may be your guy. You know what I mean? This may be your guy. But that is, I think it's a it's far and few between the guys that specialize in getting their quarterbacks. I mean, their quarterbacks, their receivers, and little gadget players, and little little screen passes and dump offs. I, I, at least I play Madden a lot, and I haven't come across a lot of guys who offense operate around that. You know what I'm saying? Even guys that got the Tyreek Hill. When you got speed like this, what you want to do? You want to take the top off the defense. I don't see many guys throwing a lot of bubble screens, but hey, if that's what you do. This might be your guy, man, so I don't know. Let me know what you think about the three ultimate legends they gave to us this Saturday. All right, man, and there you have it. Those are the three ultimate legends that they decided to release for us today on this Saturday, man. Let me know what you think about it. Um, Me personally, like I said, you know, y'all know where I am. Those of y'all that's been following the channel for the past couple weeks or so, y'all know where I stand, man. If it ain't rocking that, if it ain't rocking that red and gold, man, it's a no-go for me. You know what I'm saying? Unless you know who comes out. And let you know who comes out. Y'all know who I'm talking about. That 2-1 comes out. But anyway, um, yeah, man, it is what it is, man. Also, let me know how you guys are getting along with the new house rules. Um, if you're looking forward to the draft, uh, the new draft promo they got coming out. And if you're just looking forward to the real draft, man. Me, I'm a real football head. Um, I love playing Madden, but I, I first love playing real football and everything real football. So let me know what y'all think about this year's draft. The first time they're actually going to have an all-digital draft, virtual draft, man. I think it's going to be crazy. Um, I know it's going to be some capoos and some snaggles going on because this is the first time this has ever been done. So I'm interested to see how this year's draft, this this digital draft goes with the, 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 the coronavirus and everything kind of stopping everything public going on. So uh, let me know what you're looking forward to, man, in the real draft as well as in the game. All right, man, you know what I always say, man. Without further ado, be your boy, Mr. 314. Nah, catch y'all on the next one, baby.